What up guys, this is Keith Galley and today I'm going to be going through a tutorial on how to play the game Konani. I've also seen it called Hawaiian Checkers. I stumbled across this game earlier today when I was looking up some information for another video I wanted to make and I really liked the game, I've never heard of it before and I think it's just like a cool new game to learn if you're looking for one. Alright, so what's the goal of the game and how do you play? Well, on this, as you can see on the screen, the layout of the game is an 8x8 board with black and white pieces alternating across every square. Black always goes first. To choose who plays as black, one thing you could do is pick up two of the marbles off of the board, put them behind your back, and have your opponent guess which hand the black marble is in. If he's correct, then he'll play first. If he's wrong, then he'll be white and you'll play first. The black player now must remove an initial black piece to begin the game. He can remove one of the two middle black pieces, or he could also remove one of the two corner black pieces. In this example, I'll remove one of the black pieces in the middle. The white opponent follows this move by removing one of the white adjacent pieces to that initial black piece that I removed. The game now continues as follows. Each turn a player must jump one of the opposing players pieces. So in this case I'll jump here. The opponent then responds by also making a jump. This continues until one player is unable to make any jump. The player who cannot make a jump is declared the loser. To reiterate, the object of the game is to force your opponent to be unable to make a jump. If this happens, then you are the winner. One piece of information that is important to note is that double jumps are allowed. So in this case, I'm going to move my piece from up here in the top to double jump downwards. You can do this if you think it's to your advantage. Also note that diagonal moves are not allowed. All of the jumps that have made, been made in this game are vertical or horizontal. We are now nearing the end of the game so it's important to try to maintain pieces that can jump your opponent's pieces. So I'm going to keep this in mind when I make my remaining moves. So as you can see, I'm playing against a pretty easy computer, and the computer now has no remaining moves. If you look at any of the white pieces, he cannot jump my black piece. This means that I am the winner. So I just want to say a couple things before I conclude this video. Um, so it's kind of hard to find this game uh, on a desktop app online. So what I did for this video is I downloaded an Android version by Lee Bradley. So that's a good way to play. Another option is to use uh, another game board. So you could also use an Othello board and set it up in the necessary way to play this game. Um, if there's enough interest, I can make a strategy video on this game. You know, the best way to play in order to win. And if you have any other suggestions for future videos I should make, let me know. Peace out, guys.